So here's the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro. Uh, the iPhone 11 is available in six colors. So purple, yellow, green, black, white, and product red. And iPhone 11 Pro is available in midnight green, silver, space gray, and gold. So those are the colors and this one has the ultra wide lens the iPhone 11 iPhone 11 Pro has a white and a telephoto lens as well so that's the main difference between these two and also this one has um, or both has the A13 Bionic chip batteries up to 17 hours of playback video playback up to 18 hours of video playback here on the iPhone 11 Pro uh, iPhone 11 gives a uh, impressive all-day battery life and is fast charge capable adapter sold separately this one called the iphone 11 pro represents a major leap forward setting new bar for all-day battery life fast charge adapter included so it's included and this one is iphone 11 pro max up to 20 hours of video playback and um, that's the same thing display display uh, for the iphone 11 is liquid Liquid Retina HD 6.1 inches LCD display. This advanced display stays bright all the way into the corners and delivers true to life color. So everything from photos to videos to games looks beautiful. Super Retina XDR 5.8 inches or 6.5 inches OLED display. This is our best iPhone display and the sharpest display Apple makes. It's brighter in sunlight and perfect for HDR movies with true blacks and more detail in bright areas like fire. Water resistance. Uh, iPhone 11 is up to 2 meters for 30 minutes. iPhone 11 Pro up to 4 meters for 30 minutes. And uh, iPhone 11 is um, just in case you fall into a neighbor's pool and it stands up from spill, coffee, tea, and soda and more. iPhone 11 Pro shrugs off all the same spills but double the water resistance to a depth of 4 meters or 30 minutes. That's a long time. Materials and finishes. Aluminum and glass design for iPhone 11. Uh, stainless steel and glass design for iPhone 11 Pro. This one, a different color right here. Capacity. So uh, Apple, the iPhone 11 is available in 64 gigs, 128 gigs, and 256 gigs. And uh, iPhone 11 Pro Max, uh, Pro and Pro Max, is available in 64, 256, and 512. So you, if you want bigger storage, you might want to go with the iPhone 11 Pro if you're doing a lot of video and uh, photo, video especially, in 4K 60 frame per second. And uh, it's kind of um, like look at this. There, they say it's 3.99 with trading. Uh, only if you trade in like, uh, you know, like your iPhone XS Max, then you get something like this price. But if you're trading all the iPhones, I'm sure you have to pay more. So, view the pricing for iPhone 11. So, iPhone 11 is coming, it says, right here. So, so if you trade trading, uh, you're going to get, if you don't have a trade-in, I'm gonna go with the purple right here and so it's 699 749 and 849 for 256 gig right and also you can get it unlocked right here cool and for the other one uh, let me show you for this one for the iPhone 11 Pro I'm gonna show the pricing and uh, that one, if I'm not trading in, it's going to be for the 11 Pro Max. Let's go to the big one. I'm going to choose a gold. Uh, so it's 64 gigs is 1099, 256 gigs at 1249, and 512 gigs. Wow, 1449. That's huge. And 11 iPhone 11 Pro price without any trading. 64 gigs is at 9.99, 256 gig is at 1,149, and 512 gig is at 1,349. Uh, and you can get it from AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, Verizon, and Unlock. 
sim free where you can use uh, worldwide internationally I would suggest that is better for resale uh, if you want to resell and so that's overview right here and the tech spec R just to show you uh, right here a brief overview of tech spec cool all right uh, so wait until we're gonna go let's see um, you can order it on September 13th starting at 5 a.m. Pacific daytime day time and uh, it's gonna be um, shipped to you on September 20th you're gonna receive it and so if you guys like this video please give a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you guys for watching bye iPhone 11 is out so 11 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max so here you can go to Apple and watch the keynote for here uh, and the keynote was uh, it's gonna be uploaded later but uh, it's already done so on the Apple website iPhone 11 Pro Pro cameras Pro display Pro performance uh, you can trade in your previous phone so it has three cameras one is a wide uh, lens one is um, tele a telephoto lens that means it's a zoom this one is an ultra wide lens and um, there's an iPhone 11 which has two cameras. It comes with um, six colors right here. You can trade in your phone as well. And uh, Apple Watch Series 5 is also announced. Uh, so the new big change is that it's the screen is always on. That means um, you can always see your screen versus before you have to like uh, raise your wrist in order for you to uh, light up the screen and the new iPad so a larger 10.2 inches retina display full-size smart keyboard support and the new iPad OS so and also Apple TV plus for only $4.99 a month for the family starting November 1st and Apple Arcade app which you can play any game that is exclusive to Apple uh, arcade only starting on September 19 so the new big thing is um, the uh, iPhone 11 so iPhone 11 is available for uh, pre-order on September 20 and it comes with four different colors so it says and then there was pro and transformative triple camera system that adds tons of capability without complexity and and Precedented leap in battery life and a mind-blowing chip that doubles down on machine learning and pushes the boundaries what of what a smartphone can do. Welcome to the first iPhone powerful enough to be called Pro. So pre-order starting at 5 a.m. Pacific daytime on uh, this one is on September 13. That's for the oh, okay. That's 11 Pro. So you can order starting on September 13, and it's gonna be available on September 20th. So in three days you can order it uh, and you can watch the film here and watch the keynote. So I'm going to watch the film just to show you guys here. That's the iPhone 11 Pro. Introducing iPhone 11 Pro. Every detail has been used as an opportunity to set new standards in design, quality, and engineering, ensuring it will deliver uncompromising performance in any situation. At the core of the iPhone 11 Pro design is a stainless steel structural band and a three-dimensional glass back made from the toughest glass in a smartphone. It's sculpted from a single solid sheet, reinforced down to the atomic level, and then brought to life in one of four textured matte finishes. The enclosure is designed to withstand what life can throw at it. Rigorous testing and refining so drop to testing. help create a durable, dust, and water-resistant iPhone. And then a water resistance here. The Apple-designed A13 Bionic chip is the most ambitious to date. It's the fastest chip ever in a smartphone, yet more efficient than ever. 
and with new optimized batteries that give you up to five There's a new chip. Extra hours in your day, you get more pro performance in an iPhone for longer than ever. So uh, you can watch the film here, the trailer for the iPhone 11. And here is the design of the iPhone 11 Pro uh, starting for pre-order on September 13th and it's going to be available September 20th. Take a closer look, two sizes, four finishes, so four different colors, so stainless steel and, ga and glass design. View the gallery, I'm going to show you this, so kind of like green, this one is uh, black and gold, green, uh, silver, and black. It's a gallery. Pro camera, camera system. We have three up ourselves. Meet the first triple camera system to combine cutting edge technology with the legendary simplicity of iPhone. Capture up to four times more scene. Get beautiful images in drastically lower light. Shoot the highest quality video in a smartphone, then edit with the same tools you love for photos. You've never shot with anything like that. Cool. So three out. So there's an ultra wide camera right here. It's a 13 millimeter focal length, uh, an aperture of 2.4, five element lens, 120 degrees field of view, four times more scene, 12 megapixel sensor. So they all t uh, 12 megapixel sensor. And this one is a white camera, that's a standard camera, 26 millimeter focal length, aperture of 1.8, six element lens, optical image stabilization, 100% focus pixel, new 12 megapixel sensor. Then we go to telephoto lens, uh, camera, 52 millimeter focal length, larger f2.0 aperture, so that's the zoom lens, this one. Uh, six element lens, optical image stabilization, two times optical zoom, 12 megapixel sensor. So they all, um, they all like um, have image stabilization and 12 megapixel. Uh, this iPhone 7 Plus, uh, the telephoto lens didn't have the image stabilization, just the regular uh, lens. Expanded field of view, iPhone 11 Pro lets you zoom from the telephoto all the way out to the new ultra wide camera for an impressive four times optical zoom range. So this is a standard image for the standard lens. Then you have, uh, oh no, this is a zoom, okay, the center, and then the middle is the standard, and this is the white on the back. I'm gonna show you. And then ultra white. Okay, so the website's kind of buggy right now, but uh, you get you get what I mean. Uh, so, element elegant immersive interface will leverage the wider field of view to let you see what's happening outside the image frame and simply tap to capture it. So, and there's almost nothing between you and your subject except a new pro camera font, camera font. So you're always fully immersed in the scene. So uh, it's going to show you here the regular lens. If you switch, it's going to show you the ultra white right here, which is great, uh, the border. See how the cameras can work as one. OK, so three cameras that don't feel like three cameras. OK. And this is like another video that is shot on the iPhone 11 Pro. Uh, using the 4K uh, 60 frames per second and that is um, cinematic 4K shoot it, flip it, zoom it, crop it, cut it, light it, tweak it, love it iPhone 11 Pro lets you capture videos that are beautifully true to life with greater detail and smoother motion epic processing power means it can shoot 4K video with an extended dynamic range and cinematic video stabilization all at 60 frames per second it makes it pretty smooth, right? Shooting at 60 frames per second. And also we have uh, dynamic range, which is great. Uh, you get more creative control too, with four times more scene and powerful new editing tools to play with. The highest quality video in any smartphone. Cool. So it has an A3 Bionic.
processor for real-time processing, audio zoom to match audio with video framing. So it's gonna focus the audio on where you uh, zoom in. Four times more scene will ultra wide. Boom, you are a film editor. iOS 13 lets you edit videos just like you edit photos. That's cool, I wanted to rotate my video. Sometimes it's like uh, my video I shot, uh, you know, vertically and, and so on. So I wanna color gradient it and you know contrast or yeah you can now do it with iOS 13 rotate crop auto enhance add filters and more okay ultra white take it all in when you just can't squeeze everything into the frame zoom out because the new ultra white camera captures four times more scene than ever it's like stepping back way back without taking a step bring on those mountain ranges, soaring cathedrals, and iconic skylines. For me, I like to go to travel and I like to capture all the scenery, so it's kind of nice to have ultra white lens. It makes everything look great, like this. That's a nice picture. And this uh, ultra white creates an artful perspective when you're in close and a, a pro technique that's fun to experiment with. Like this, position yourself below your subject for shots that feel powerful and heroic. In tight spaces, ultra white is like taking a step back to capture more of your surroundings. Kind of like that. You won't need a GoPro anymore, right? If you're doing this, and I wonder about image stabilization. You can uh, get the DJI uh, Osmo uh, 3, Osmo Mobile 3 to um, you know stabilize your footage. With a wider canvas, you can capture more expensive scenes than ever before. Okay, the 120 degree field of view makes ultra wide ideal for landscape photography. For me, who likes landscape photography, this is ideal. Night mode, oh, this is cool. High tech meets low light. From dimly lit restaurants to moonlit beaches, the new night mode uses intelligent software and A13 Bionic to deliver low light shots never before possible on iPhone and it all happens automatically. You can also experiment with manual controls, dial in even more detail and less noise. That's nice. Uh, the night mode. So night mode off and night mode on. So it's kind of like doing a long exposure. See the advanced technology that goes into every night mode shots. Uh, all right. So details about that. Portrait mode, power to the portrait. With three cameras working together, you can fit more in your portraits than ever. iOS 13 adds the high key light mono effect for studio style monochromes and portrait lighting lets you control the intensity of light to flatter your subject, just like you would in a studio. How beautiful is that? Yeah, you can make it. So it removes the background for you and then it makes it monochrome like this kind of cool you don't need a studio anymore that is sweet no matter where you get the shot high key light mono can tr transform it into a striking studio style portrait I I, I, I kind of like you know uh, I would kind of want to have you know just the uh, color in color and have the background removed instead of having just a choice, just monochrome and background removed. So this one, so you can do like, you know, uh, product photography where it automatically removes the background for you instead of just like uh, having to choose just mono um, settings where it's black and white. So you can do uh, product photo photography with that too. And this is a little bit of the the image shot on iPhone 11 Pro, like right here. Smart HDR, and you thought your photos couldn't get any better. Next generation Smart HDR uses advanced algorithms to fitness highlights and shadow detail in your image. And now it leverages machine learning, machine learning is cool, to recognize faces in your shot and intelligently relight them. That means iPhone 11 Pro can automatically fine tune detail in both the subject and the background. Even some DSLRs cameras can do that. You would have to do in post editing. So Smart HDR brings remarkable lighting 
and detail to faces while maintaining rich color variation in the background. Like this also HDR. This is a high speed. That's ultra white, pretty cool. Like that. So uh, be ready when you your photo up turns into a video up. So kind of cool when you hold it uh, the photo button for a while and becomes uh, a video. It starts to record a video. Say you're taking photos and you see something you've got to catch on video with quick take. There's no need to switch modes. Just leave your finger on the shutter to start recording. Want to keep the recording going on? Going. Swipe right to take burst photo, swipe left. To take burst photo, swipe left. Okay. Uh, why selfie when you can slow fee? Slow fi, right? Uh, the new 12 megapixel true depth camera lets you take super fun slow motion selfie videos at 120 FPS or shoot in 4K at 60 uh, FPS. So I'm guessing this is 120 FPS at not 4K. For stills, the camera now automatically zooms out when you rotate your iPhone. Okay. So you can get your whole crew in a shot. Yes, even selfies can be pro. That's kind of cool for group, um, you know, group photo selfie where you have a large group and you want to, you know, show the whole thing, especially when you go to travel and you know, in parties, even more cool camera features, 40% more light capture with delay photo, six lightning, lighting effects in portrait mode, 36% brighter true tone flash with slow sync, two times more height, height for panels, uh, zero shutter lag, OIS optical image stabilization, cool, pro display, super retina XDR, a sharp contrast from everything else. So the display is called Super Retina XDR. Uh, the one in uh, iPhone XS, XS Max is called Super Retina. This one adds the XDR at the end. Display both, uh, not one, but two new peaks of brightness and understand when to use them. It heats up to 800 nits when you're out in the sun. Great for shooting and making selects on the go. So when you're out in the sun, you still can see like your screen, you know, that's kind of nice and up to 1200 nits when you're viewing extreme dynamic range content. It's like having a pro display XDR on your iPhone, the brightest, sharpest iPhone display ever. Up to 800 nits for better viewing in sunlight, up to 1200 nits for HDR photos and HDR 10 movies. 2 million to 1 contrast ratio, 450x pixels per inch. Custom OLED with consistent color and brightness, even in the corners. White color gamut with system white color management for incredible color accuracy. True tone matches the white balance of the room to make things easier on your eyes. Haptic touch lets you do things faster, like take selfies without launching the camera at. Tap or raise to wake means your iPhone is always ready in an instant. Night shift can shift your display to the warmer end of the spectrum every night. That's kind of cool. I don't like um, the white light that hurts your eyes when you use at night. More efficient by up to 15%, contributing to over largest ever leap in battery life. Battery better than the iPhone XS, XS Max. True blacks that looks especially amazing with dark mode in iOS 13. See how, okay. Pro performance as sh a chip so advanced even when we're trying to catch up. We custom build a 13 Dionic with a focus on machine learning across the entire ship. So focus on machine learning, enabling experiences that simply are not found on any other smartphone. In fact, it's so fast, so powerful, and so intelligent, it's years ahead of any other ship, which gives you an unfair advantage. The fastest chip ever in a smartphone. 64-bit fusion architecture, performance performance cores process complex tasks faster than ever, while custom efficiency cores handle everyday tasks, helping to deliver a huge leap in battery life. Faster CPU in a smartphone, 
the CPU's two performance cores are up to 20% faster and use up to 40% less power. And its four efficiency cores are up to 20% faster and use up to 25% less power. It's kind of cool. The so it only use it only lights uh, like turn on the parts of the processor that needs or GPU that needs um, uh, process that that needs to to use. You know, it doesn't. Uh, power on everything in the smartphone. That's why it's saving a lot of power faster GPU in a smartphone The Apple design GPU is up to 20% faster and uses up to 30% less power Perfect for high-end high-performance gaming and the latest AR experiences Neural engine for advanced machine learning the 8 core Apple design neural engine is up to 20% faster and use up to 15% less power. It's a driving force behind the triple camera system, face ID, AR apps, and more. Machine learning accelerators. Two new machine learning accelerators on the CPU run matrix math computations up to six times faster, allowing the CPU to perform perform over one trillion operations per second. That's huge. Core ML3 for machine learning in apps to help developers leverage the machine learning power of A3 Bionic Core M3L works with the machine learning controller to automatically direct tasks to CPU, GPU, or neural engine. Cool. So you can play high performance game. Another hour of battery life would be great. Here's five. So you get five hours of battery life on the iPhone 11 Pro Max over the most dramatic leaf in battery life ever. So up to four more hours of battery life with iPhone 11 Pro. Up to five hour, five hour, five more hours of battery life with iPhone 11 Pro Max. Up to 50% charge in around 30 minutes with fast charge. So you have um, fast charge, which is great, cutting up to 50% uh, the time, creating tougher glass. Isn't rocket science? It's molecular science. The toughest glass in any smartphone, front and back. Precision milled from a single sheet of glass. Dual ion exchange process for added strength. Splash splashes of the most water resistant iPhone ever. So uh, it's uh, IP water resistant, IP68 rating, water resistance to a depth of 4 meters. That's plenty for up to 30 minutes. Spill resistance for common liquids like coffee, tea, and soda. So this can replace the GoPro. You can go into the sea, just jump, and then take picture. But make sure it doesn't fall off of your hands. Dust resistance thanks to precision fitted seals. So no dust inside, which is great. Can you be more precise? Yes. The new Apple design UI U1 chip uses ultra wideband technology for spatial awareness, allowing 11 iPhone 11 Pro to precisely locate other U1 equipped Apple devices. It's like adding another sense to iPhone and it's going to lead to amazing new capabilities. With U1 and iOS 13, you can point your phone towards someone else and AirDrop will prioritize that device so you can share files faster. And that's just the beginning. That's pretty cool. So I don't have to like try to locate someone uh, face ID is now 30% faster. Wow, it works from far away, from further away at more angles too, and it's still the most secure facial authentication in a smartphone. So I kind of like fingerprint uh, because sometimes you like busy and you have to like show your face to unlock it. That's kind of annoying. Privacy is built in. Everything okay. Excellent trading value. Good taste pays off iPhone 11 Pro is going to last, so it holds its value longer. Should you ever decide to part with it, okay, you can trade in even more stuff. Dolby Atmos sound moves around you in 3D space, so you feel like you're inside the action. Spatial audio creates a more immersive theater-like surround sound experience. Audio sharing connect two sets of AirPods or Beats headphones at once. Fast charge in a hurry, charge up to 50% in around 30 minutes uh, with the included 18 watt adapter. Okay, that's fast, 30 minutes. 
uh, while it's charging, just place iPhone 11 Pro on any Qi certified charger. Faster Wi-Fi speeds, Wi-Fi 6, that's 802.11 AX, lets you download content up to 38% faster, up to, the, up to 30 LTE bands, Gigabit Class LTE for the most extensive roam, roaming worldwide. Uh, dual SIM, that's Gigabit Class, that's like, it's not even saying 5G. Dual SIM and eSIM, uh, dual SIM with eSIM support at the same line or even a local data plan abroad. So cool, it has two SIM in here. Just like the iPhone XS Max. Uh, use AR to see iPhone 11 Pro. Open this page using Safari on your iPhone or iPad. Oh, cool. You can see it in uh, in 3D right here, rotated. AR, uh, iPhone 11 or 11 Pro. Okay, get a quick take on the differences. And then there's accessories right here. So I'm going to show you the difference right here. So um, iPhone 11, iPhone 